was a one to go and stint myself. If I like a thing, I like it. That's enough. And as many of people say that if you like a thing a lot, it'll grow on you and all that sort of stuff. Now, I like a drop of stout as well as anyone. <laughs> but a drop of stout's supposed to make you fat. And there's many a lardy da madam wouldn't dare touch it because she mustn't spoil her figure, silly cat. I saw the prison officers as prostitutes for a brutal government policy. So when the war dresses tried to win me over with offers of oysters and champagne, I was confused. The war dress said, eat, in a tone I hadn't heard since childhood. I stood motionless. She left. I always hold in having it if you fancy it, if you fancy it. That's understood. And suppose it makes you fat, I don't worry over that, cause a little of what you fancy does you good. My first force feeding was the worst. There are no words to describe the horrible, revolting sensations. Two wardresses forced me to the doctor's room where three male doctors awaited me, each holding a red rubber tube. One of them asked me to drink some milk. I refused. I was overpowered, each arm held back by a wardress. Two others holding my shoulders back. Two more holding my knees down and a doctor holding my head back. I struggled and I tried to scream, but it was helpless, like I was in a vice. I clenched my teeth, thinking it would be through my mouth. Suddenly, I felt something penetrate my right nostril. Excruciating agony seemed to cause my head to burst and my eyes to bulge. Choking and retching as the tube was forced down to the stomach and the liquid food poured in again and again and again. Most of which I vomited back up again. I slowly suffocated and then lost consciousness, only regaining consciousness flat on the floor of my cell. I was forcibly fed 232 times. Fire! 